Well, hello and welcome to the Philly Few. We try to find out who knows the most about Philly. Tonight, we've assembled a couple of very impressive teams made up of actors and writers. Now, you may be able to recognize some of our actors from stage, TV commercials, and shows. You may have also read some of their authors' works. They're very accomplished teams with something a bit different ahead of them today, answering questions about our city and region, and shortly we'll see how well they do. And our teams have some incentive tonight. Our winners will receive a Harris coupon book with $50 free slot play or match play, $25 dining credit valid on a purchase of $50 or more, $10 valet voucher, and one free hour of Top Golf. All right, later we'll get to meet our participants and hear what they're up to. Natalie Eganoff, my co-host. Hello, Mike. Hello, Natalie. Happy uh, Philly feud. We have assembled some pretty special talent in here tonight. We have. I'm really yes. excited about tonight's show. Higher than normal the Philly Feud standards. We've gone with a way to way up. I agree. For this. And, and I'm even more excited and I think I, I have my prediction already because there's a Natalie on this set. Tonight. Oh, there's another Natalie. Okay. So well, you know where we'll my see. loyalty lies. Here's the way the feud works. Our teams tonight face off in four rounds, guessing the top answers to list about Philadelphia, Philly sports, pop culture, along with some online poll questions. Answers are worth 10 points. Incorrect responses give the opponent a shot at the board, and we'll go back and forth until all team members make an attempt or until the board is clear. And Phil, we'll finish with a lightning round worth 200 points that can change the score quickly and determine our winner. All right, so let's bring up our captains for round one. Damien and Joe, come on up, guys. All right, you guys ready? Yeah, absolutely. All right, here's the first question. Name a word that people from outside Philadelphia say we mispronounce. Joe. Water. Water. Of course. Got to be on the board. It's number two. Water is number two. Joe, go ahead. You have to control the board. Schuylkill. Schuylkill. It's not on the board. I don't think we know how to pronounce that in general. So we can't <laughs> mispronounce not. it. Damien, it's all you. Philadelphia. Phil we mispronounce Philadelphia? That's what they think. They do? Sure. <laughs> it's not on the board, Damien. Sorry. All right. Let's go to Ryan. All right, Ryan. What, what do we mispronounce here in Philadelphia? Uh, that's a great question. <laughs> we mispronounce I'm, it's a great question? <laughs> I'm drawing a blank. You're drawing a blank? Yeah. All right. Blank. Sorry. Let's go to Natalie. Natalie? Down the shore, down the shore. Down the shore. Sure, down All right, the shore. It's, uh, down the shore on the board. It's not on the board. Ah. All right. Come on in here, Ron. What do you got? Concha Hawken. Concha Hawken. Is that on the board? That's not on the board. All right, John. Hey, what about gravy or, or sauce? Well, I don't know, but that, that sounds I, I don't know if we mispronounced that. We call yeah. it gravy. That's a good, See, that's a good point. See, the question is, what, what do we mispronounce, uh, John? How about hoagies? No, that's the same thing. Oh, that's a good question. Um, hmm. I've already been told three did times it's a good question, did but nobody eat? can get them. <laughs> what, what do we have? Did you eat? Did you, did you eat? <laughs> did you oh, eat? I think we might be missing the point of this question. I, I Let's think see so too, if that's, okay. that's, that's not on the board either. I'm starving, all Mike. Right, I'm Tom, starving. Tom, it's all right. Tom? I've been mispronouncing words of Philadelphia yes, for you 50 have. years. Uh huh. And I can't think really? of that. So you're out also. All right. Concha Hawkins, I was going to say. That, that's not on the board either. All right, let's go uh, to Vina Marie. Is it eggs or eggs? Eggs or oh. eggs? Well, I thought people were going to slay this question. That's not on the board either. So we only had one response that yes. was right. It was water. Let's see what the rest of the answers are. Coffee. What? Coffee. We go co coffee. 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 We go coffee. Correct. Let's see what number four is. Attitude. 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 We go attitude. attitude. This is right. just how number I sound three. on a regular basis. Worse. We go worse. Sometimes worse. Worse. All right. Number one answer. You guys, we pronounce yous. For you guys. I think the first question threw our teams. But it's very easy to calculate. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, so we have the actors with uh, zero and the writers with ten. Ten? Yes. Ten to nothing. Yeah. The writers Still over the actors. Game. We get back. We'll learn more about our teams and 
where they may have been, seen or read, and we'll have them talk about their careers right here on the Philly Feud from the Brook and Harris in Philadelphia. Philly Feud is brought to you by Harris Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play. and more than 45 large screen TVs. You can watch all your sports action live right here and wager on all your favorites. It's a great new venue here at Harris. All right, after that last round, I'm thinking Acme. I'm thinking Mayan for mine. All these Philly things are coming to me I don't, now. I don't see, right? hear anything wrong with mine. Yeah, see, after the fact, <laughs> we always think of them. But it's now time to learn more about our teams of actors and writers. First, let's talk with our blue team made up of actors from the area. All right. The Capitan is Damien Musiani, an actor from South Jersey who has appeared on Showtime's hit Billions. He is not Damien Lewis, the red-haired guy. I get that But all he's the a time, pretty good yeah. Damien. He's also uh, appeared alongside Donnie Wahlberg on CBS's Blue Bloods. He's a spokesperson for Manhattan Mini Storage. So you appear on 31 giant billboards yeah. across New York City. Across Manhattan, but yeah. Across Manhattan. If you're a radio listener, 97.5 The Fanatic, you remember Damien, he used to do our updates, 97.5 The Fanatic. Right, right. And out with the old and with the new. Now there you go. And, and the much better looking, by the way, I might oh, add. Thank you, thank you. But thanks for being here, Damien. Good to see you. My pleasure. Let's go to the inc incomparable Natalie Stone. I can't believe she's here. She's a big timer. Philadelphia native known nationally for her portrayal of Rita opposite Sherry O'Terry from SNL in the award-winning film Turkey's Done. Of course, remember that, as well as Tina's mother in Tony and Tina's Wedding. Does she not look like Tony? I mean, it's Tina's unbelievable. Your, your resume is tremendous. Thank you very much, Mr. What was Sherry O'Terry? Uh, was oh she? Uh, she was awesome. Was she? She's such, she's so talented and so petite and so lovely, and we loved her. Awesome. It's, it's really Thanks funny. for gracing us with your presence Thank tonight. Thank you. All right. John Giordano, an actor who's appeared in the M. Night Shyamalan series Servant on Apple TV and the Natasha Henstridge film Blindsided. Oh my God, I was a big Natasha Henstridge fan. Oh yeah, Species. Species. Yeah. And uh, he just shot that in Reading where he plays a storm chaser and a news reporter. He's also a stand-up comedian, recently performed with Vincent Valentine. Welcome here, John. Thank you, Mike. It's great to be here. Fantastic. So um, did you meet Natasha? I didn't. She wasn't on set during my shoot day, but I got sprayed with a fire hose and a commercial-sized fan Oh. So I was a storm chaser in that one. It was, it was quite right. a day. <laughs> awesome. Well, th thanks for being here, John. Thank you. And Vina Maria Piso began her career just three years old. Get this, on the Al Albert Show yeah. way back in the day. <laughs> she performed at Disney World Sixers Games, six ABC's Thanksgiving Day Parade. She received the highest levels of award for dance and acted in the production work in numerous plays, commercials, films, including Creed II. That's right. All of which locally or nationally televised. Creed too, huh? Yeah, yeah, it was pretty cool. It was just a minor role, but it was still an awesome experience. How was Definitely Michael, got B, was to Michael see B. Jordan cool? Oh my God, he was so relaxed, so cool. Yeah, he was awesome. So what'd you do at age three with Al Alberts? I acted and danced. I was I was dancing on it, and they selected me to act on it. So it was really awesome. A precocious little miss you were. <laughs> yeah. I was a go-getter. What can I say? <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming out, Vina Marie. We appreciate it. Let's go now to our red team, the team of writers. Captain Joe Valley. He wrote the book Snow on the Barbed Wire. It's about the rise, fall, and redemption of competitor eater. El Wingador, we remember El Wingador. He's also a restaurateur, he's a voice artist, and he's a former Phillies bat boy, that's right. He's the co-founder of Rainbow Rabbit Educational Services. It's based on a character created by his grandfather, who was a Disney animator, and it's a nonprofit that visits schools with an anti-bullying program. Joe, you, you are a mensch, I'll tell you. I try, Mike. I gotta follow you. Not up, you, you've gone way past me. Uh, I don't know about me. that. <laughs> Thanks for being here. Good luck. Thanks for Continue having me. success with you. Ryan Downs wrote A hey, Snowball's Mike. Chance along with Joe to shed some much needed positive light on our much maligned and unfairly maligned fan base That's right. right here in Philadelphia. <laughs> he is a longtime volunteer at Camp Aaron in Philadelphia. 
uh, which is a part of the largest national bereavement program for children ages 6 to 17. You remember Jamie Moyer when he was here. This is his 10th year volunteering. You guys are amazing. Yes, sir. Thank you. It's a cause near and dear to my heart, Mike. Good stuff, yeah, really. Yeah. Thanks for being here, Ryan. Thank you, Mike. He's got the Phil throwback today. <laughs> All right. Ron Numer. Ron wrote Once in a While in Philadelphia. And he's working on a play based on the book. He grew up in the Frankfurt section and is a proud graduate of Father Judge High. That, that's a Cardinal Doherty person right there. Thanks for having me, Mike. And uh, I grew up in the Frankfurt section of the city. I wrote about the people I knew, people I wrote, uh, grew up with. And uh, they some, did, did some colorful things, off the wall things. And uh, it was a real experience. Beautiful. Thanks for being here. And finally, Tom Giordano, who wrote a book called The Berber. It's a CIA spy thriller. That's I great. love this. South Philly guy went to Newman, now lives in Cherry Hill. All right, now tell me a little bit about the spy thing. Well, there's actually two books, The Berber and The Berber Part Two. Oh, you got Berber Part yeah. Two. All right, so it, it's, it's a spellbinding mystery. It'll it's keep a, me it's topical. very topical for today, Mike. Okay. Uh, and it, because like a, The Berber is a U.S. citizen born of the French military attache and the uh, Moroccan military. I like it. You have a copy of the book? I'm taking it home tonight reading it. Uh, it's right. 814, bring me a copy? 814 pages. Hey, bring me a, all right. All right. Thanks for being here, Tom. It's time to bring our second contestants up. Let's bring up Natalie and Ryan. All right, here's the question. Who are five famous authors from Philadelphia? Natalie. Edgar Allan Poe lived in Philadelphia for a time. Edgar Allan Poe. Yeah. Boosh! A lot of people associate him with Baltimore, and the Ravens are kind of named after the Raven, right? You, you, you sniffed that one right out, How Natalie. About that? Nice job. Go ahead. Um, uh, w uh, the one that wrote um, In Her Shoes, Jennifer Wiley Wheeler. Jennifer, Jennifer Wiener. Jennifer Wiener. In I Her Shoes. I actually worked with her at the Inquirer. Is she on the board? Yes, she is. Yeah. Jennifer Wiener. Keep going, Nat. Uh, Lorraine Rinelli, author of Gravy Wars, Foods, Feuds, and Attitudes. Lorraine Rinelli, a very well-known South Philly uh, author. Is she a, No, not. Uh, not on the board. All right, let's wah, move over wah, to Ryan. Wah. All right, Ryan, what do you got? He's a poet, but I'm thinking maybe Walt Whitman. Walt Whitman. You're going to go with Walt. Is Walt on the board? Walt's not on the board. That's a pretty good answer. We're going to name the damn bridge after him. <laughs> All right, John. I'm going to go with my good friend M. Night Shyamalan. Is M. Night a, Shyamalan. He's, director, he's, he's kind of an author, right? Is he on the board? He is not on the board either. All right, Ron, what do you have? Lisa Scottaline. Lisa Scottaline. Is she on the board? She's not on the board. She probably should have been on the board. Should have been on the board. All right, uh, I'll give you a, a are, you, are you struggling? A little bit. All right, this, this person is kind of like from Bucks County. Oh, Tom Giordano. It's, it's not Tom Giordano. Are you sure? Yes, Let's check. I'm, I'm sure. Oh, darn. <laughs> oh, she's out. She, does, she just walked out. All right, Tom, what do you have? James Michener. James A. Michener. Is he on the board? Yes, sir. All right. James Mitzner, absolutely. <laughs> All right, Tom. Uh, there's another Italian girl, and I can't think of her name right now. An Italian girl? Yeah, that, that's a writer. Well, I don't think it's an Italian girl. Huh? She might be Italian, but her name's not Italian. All right, you're uh, out. All right, that's good. All right, Damien, what do you have? Let's go with Ray Dedinger. Yeah. Sports author, Ray Dedinger? Absolutely. Ray Dinger. Is he on the, oh, he's not on the board either. Damien, you're having a bad night, sorry, sorry. That's all right. All right, let's go over to Joe. All right, Joe, there are two left. Buzz Bissinger. Buzz Bissinger. Yeah, Friday Night Lights, he wrote. Is he on the board? No, not on the board. I guess these, I gotta be honest with you, I, I've never heard of these people, and maybe that means I'm not well read. The last two are. We'll go with uh, Mariana Moore. Is that the Italian lady you're thinking of? Mariana Moore? All right, no, number three is John O'Hara. You guys know John O'Hara? Can't say I do, Mike. Now, what do we have? What do we have here? Well, we're all tied up now, Mike. The actors just got 20. 20? And they added another 10, so we're tied. Tied at 20. 
We come back with round three. It's a question about the silver screen and our city. It's right here on the Philly Feud from the book at Harris in Philadelphia. At Harris Philadelphia, you'll find an astounding 100,000 square feet of casino excitement, including over 2,000 of the best slots in the Philly region. Play all of your favorites, such as Wheel of Fortune and Lightning Link. Welcome back. Philly Feud is right here at the book at Harris Philadelphia, where Philly loves to play. We're having some fun tonight, area actors and writers. So let's, uh, we got a 2020 score. Let's bring up our round three contestants. John and my man Ron is coming up. All right, guys, 20 to 20, big round. Here is the question. According to Penn Live, what are the top five movies? Go ahead, Ron. Rocky. <laughs> Rocky. <laughs> You say go on with the win, I'm walking out of here. I got it. Silver Linings Playbook. Silver Linings Playbook. He sniffed out what the rest of his question was going to be. Silver Linings Playbook up there. Oh, no. I can't believe it. Let's go over to John. Go ahead, John. Could I request the rest of the question, uh, Mike? The rest no. of the question, what are the top five movies that feature Philadelphia? Okay, that's, that's the, the entirety of it. I'm going to say The Sixth Sense. The Sixth Sense. It's not, it's, no, it's not on the board. It's, a, it's according to Penn Live. What do you want from me? All right. <laughs> that should, but both of those should, probably should have been up. Uh, Tom, what do you got? Philadelphia. 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 On the list. It's not on the list. Oh, my God. That won an Academy. That's, I, mean, I know, an Academy Award winner. All right. Vita Marie, what do you got? Creed. Creed. She was in Creed too. No. What? No Creed. I think you may have to go a little old school. Joe, I got to take you back to the 80s, I think. Trading Places. Trading Places, Eddie Murphy and Dan Aykroyd. All right. Mannequin. Mannequin. Yeah. Uh. Blowout. Blowout featuring John Travolta. Early John Travolta. Yes. <laughs> yes. Caught the wreck on West River Drive. He was a sound tech. Witness. Witness is pretty good. That was in Amish country. I don't know if it's there. It's not there. Good effort though, Joe. All right, Damien, there's one left. 1980 movie. It's kind of a murder mystery. Uh, dressed to kill. Is that Brian De Palma? It is. It is Brian De Palma. And John Lithgow. Is, is it up there? It is! Oh my, these guys dug in. Nice job. All right, Nat, what do we have? All right, so the writers kind of ran away with that one. They now have 60 points. Actors added another 10, so they have 30. Still anybody's 60 game. 60 to 30. It's a great game, and we return. We have a question about some familiar nicknames, and we hope you're playing along at home. And we're right here at Harris Philadelphia, back after this. Special sporting events at the region's premier sports betting experience. We're right here at the book. Uh, I'm thinking that last question. That blowout, an underrated movie. Travolta, Lincoln Drive, Accident, he was a sound tech. I've never seen Nancy it. Nancy Allen. But I love early Travolta. All right, so anyway, there. fourth round. Let's bring up our fourth round contestants. All right, question four. What are the top nicknames given to Philadelphia? Oh. Philadelphia. Philadelphia? Well, no. no oh, that, come on. That's a bad name, and I'm talking about a real right. name for Philadelphia. All right, is Phil said Philadelphia up there? No. No. Thank God. Well, I, I ought to. All right, Vina Marie. 
Everyone thinks we're from the Jersey Shore, so Jersey Shore. Jersey Shore. Is Jersey Shore up there? No, I think we're, we're overcomplicating the question. Come on up, Joe. All right, then, then what do we call Philadelphia? What do people outside call Philadelphia? Nicknames from Philadelphia. City of Brotherly Love. The City of Brotherly Love. <laughs> Certainly. It's number one. <laughs> number one answer. All right, Joe, keep rolling. Philly. Philly? As in Philly, because we cut it short and go Philly. Yeah. No. Nah. Sorry. Damien. Weren't we called the... Remember we had these slogans yeah. here? Like the Philadelphia, whatever the authority is, yeah. they been, been, make the slogans for Philadelphia. I want to say it's the city that loves you back. The city that loves you back was, was one of the slogans. Is it on the board? Yeah, right. city that loves you back. <laughs> All right, then we're rolling here. Uh, uh, what else do we call Philadelphia? It was founded by somebody. Okay, so it's Billy Penn we're talking? <laughs> no, it's not Billy Penn, but we... <laughs> All right, that's enough. I can't give you any more hints. All right. <laughs> what, what do we call the people who, like, were here? Quaker City. The Quaker City. Is the Quaker City? Oh, yes, the Qua Quaker City is up there. All right, keep rolling here, Ryan. Go ahead. I'm just thinking pretzels. All I can think of is pretzels. Pretzel City. Pretzel know, City. Uh, pretzel City up there. No, Pretzel City's <laughs> not up. Natalie, come on. The City of Sisterly Affection. The City of Sisterly Affection? Word. Word? <laughs> is that up there? No, it's not up there. All right, there, there are two left here. Philly neighborhoods. This, it's called the city of... City of neighborhoods. City of neighborhoods. <laughs> of course, it's the city, city of neighborhoods. All right, there's one left, Ron. Philly pretzels. Philly pretzels, I think, was guessed already. Was Philly Pretzel up there? No, no, no. This is a serious, John, it's a serious name. We are considered by outsiders because of our great revolutionary Declaration of Independence uh, heritage, something. Um, the city with the gravy. <laughs> the city with the gravy. The city with the gravy. Judges? You're out. Okay. <laughs> This is going so well. Uh, is that <laughs> Things are going so well. All right, that's the end of the round. Now sure. they know the answer. All right, just shout it out. You're not getting credit for the it. Cradle, cradle of Liberty. Liberty. The Cradle of Liberty. Oh, 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 uh, give it, give us see, when people are under the gun, they don't get it. Natalie, at the four bit of rounds, pressure. what is our score? All right, so the actors added another 10, bringing them to 40, and the writers added 30 points, bringing them to 90. So it's 90, 90 to 40. To 40, but... The lightning round coming up next. The team that's behind has a chance to come back. 200 points potentially on the board. Which of our teams will come out as champions tonight? We'll find out when we return on the Philly Cube from the book at Harris Philadelphia. The book is Harris Philadelphia's premier sports betting experience. Wager on all your favorite sports in style. The book is equipped with better than stadium seating, great food and drink, and over 45 large screen TVs to watch the action live. Located adjacent to the WSOP Poker Room and Top Golf Swing Suite. Well, welcome back to the Philly Feud from Harris, Philadelphia. We're here to find out whether our actors or writers will be our Philly Feud champions tonight. It is now time for our lightning round. The designated player has one minute to give their team clues about 10 items related to the Philadelphia area. You cannot say any part of the name, the place, or the thing in your clues. Natalie will be our judge. She'll be keeping the time. You'll get a 10 second warning. Again, each correct response is worth 20 points. So this round determines the winners of our contest. The team that's behind with 40, our team of actors, they come up first. Come on, you guys, let's go. All right, 10 things, you get clues, rapid fire. If, if you're stuck on one, pass it. You can always come back to it. You have 60 seconds. Okay, where Starting are Starting now. Running through the blank to perform in the blank. Running through the grass field. But running through the grass, the field, the... Uh, Little Red Riding Hood running through the... Woods, woods. the forest. Yes, 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 the woods. yes. At the, I am an actor and I perform in a... Uh, stage. Theater show. Uh, stage. Show. Actor on the stage. Like, like, Play. You said it already and you said it already. Put them together. Okay. Running through, through the, the woods. Running through the woods. Woods through the blank. It's 
forest. I can't take it. It's, it's forest theater. Go. I'm going to see it. Go ahead. Oh, my God. I have to get ready. Can you run my lines with me? I have a black on Saturday. I audition. Yes. Auditions. Correct. Oi. When you look at me from a distance, it looks like my pee-pee is the top of the building. The I have a statue. Uh, William Penn. Yes. William Penn is correct. The pee-pee crew. I went. Ten in. seconds. I was in a movie with a bunch of snakes that came after oh, me. Oh, uh, Samuel said, Jackson. Oh, Samuel Jackson. No, I was the movie. Oh, oh, oh Beetlejuice. I'm um, married to the lady that looks like Kira Sedgwick. Time. time. Oh. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Kevin Bacon. Bacon. Time. We're looking for Kevin Bacon. All right, time. you guys got three right. They Sixty did. points. Bring Wait, when do we? Uh, when do we start the show? <laughs> Bringing them to a total nice of one hundred. Right, now, make way for our other team. It's okay. You did a great job. You acted it very well. Very theatric. You're a very good actor. Yes. Actress. Yes, actress, yes. And now it is time for our authors. All right, authors. Joe? Mike? You know how this works. You just saw that train wreck? <laughs> you have 60 seconds to give clues. Are you ready, sir? What's the score? Uh, we don't know the score yet. Oh, OK. Um, you can calculate it in your head, but. Gotcha. For our intents and purposes, there's still a contest here. Are you ready to go? I'm ready. 60 seconds, Joe. Go. This is what you do part time, but you're not full time. Work. Uh, 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 no, no. Uh, pass. Pass. Uh, you get this when you uh, write a, a song and it's a hit. A Grammy. <laughs> No, Royalties. no. Royalties, Ro correct. Royalties. Uh, this is what you do if, if um, you're an actor and you have someone who you have to call. Did I get the part? Agent. It's your agent. Agent's correct. Okay. It's a band with Eddie Vedder. Pearl Jam. Pearl Jam. The, at, but he played for the Portland Trailblazers Power Forward in Who the 90s. Play rock? No, Power Forward. Pass. Pass. <laughs> if you want to look up something online, you blank it. What search Google. Google. Google's correct. Okay. Uh, oh boy. Uh, flew the kite. Office episode. Franklin. For Franklin. Exactly. Benjamin Franklin, 10 yeah. seconds. Yeah. Hey, uh, author, we mentioned her earlier. She's Italian. Ryan. Scott Align. Scott Align is correct. Lisa Scott Align. Yes. Okay. Time. Time. We are, time is up. Uh, he was looking for Pearl Buck. So he was doing Pearl Jam plus Buck Williams for the Portland Trailblazers. He's trying to put them together like that. I believe we have a winner, Natalie. Yes, we do. Uh, after the lightning round, actors ended up with 100. Writers ended up with 190. 190 to 100. The winner's right here. The winners are the victors. Our winning team is Caesar's Harris Coupon Book. We hope you enjoyed tonight's showdown. Remember, you can join us here for a recording of one of our upcoming shows. Just check our Facebook page, see our next recording date, and message us for more information. My thanks to everybody here. We'll see you next time as we search for who knows the most about Philadelphia right here on the Philly Feud from the Book and Harris, Philadelphia. Philly Feud is brought to you by Harris, Philadelphia, where Philly comes out to play.